Um, so I'll start with uh, Bully. It's a live journalism show that takes audiences into the difficult world of childhood bullying and asks why strategies to target it aren't working. But first, a word about myself. I'm Sonia Fata, pronouns she, her, assistant professor, school of journalism, director of Stitched, and I'm here to talk to you about why and how we're building this show. Um, a quick brief on the medium. Live journalism is a fast evolving practice which engages with audiences in person. It's basically journalism on stage. And you can trace its roots to ancient forms of oral storytelling and nonfiction performances in traditional public spaces. Um, more contemporarily, it is uh, attached to emerging uh, practices of documentary and verbatim theater. Um, we have a few upcoming projects and shows. Um, I'll let those lie there for you on the slide. The most interesting of those will be a partnership with the Climate Disaster Project, where we will present a show that documents stories from communities directly affected by climate disasters in Canada in 2023. Um, we take three, uh, six essential directions in exploring stories for stage. These begin with philosophical approaches and how we research the story and include various experimental collaboration opportunities in engaging with communities first and then audiences. We involve story sharers in nonfiction narrative journalism, collaborate with artists, and apply a community approach to engaging audiences in difficult stories. Stitch takes um, direction for, for a shift in reporting approach from a wide range of media reporting guides, but our specific research direction it comes from Joanne Archibald, and it's a seven-part decolonized framework for story work, i.e. the work of obtaining stories from individuals and communities. So who are story sharers? Simply put, they're the people who share their stories with us. In the worlds of journalism and intelligence, we call these people sources. But at Stitched, we are trying to adopt more holistic language, and we apply three fundamental principles in how we engage. But we take a trauma-informed lens, story sharers can become collaborators, and then they can share the performance space with the journalist. So in, in building stories for stage, we want to recognize the power of the moment and have impact. A growing movement in journalism calls this type of storytelling solutions journalism. And while many journalism stories have done work like this over a period of time without having that specific tag, the goal of our work is to help shift the dial on an issue by deliberately pushing for a shift in response or action. What is journalism and how can it be presented? At Stitched, we foster a spirit of experimentation with other genres and mediums. Depending on the story, we want to find moments where we can introduce collaborations with other artists and consider how these inclusions affect audience engagement and connection to the story. Live journalism also offers us the opportunity to play with space. We consider how a stage or a lack of a stage can lead to a more intimate experience. We also consider how shifting the location of the performance can alter how audiences interact with the content. By shifting ideas through staging around good seats and bad seats, we also hope to offer a more accessible live journalism experience. Um, another area that we're interested in looking at is audience participation and how elements of audience participation thrown into the story during or after the piece um, can provide a range of actions employing both live interactions and digital and social media tools. So we'll go straight to our story. We chose Hamilton as our venue in 2019, uh, following the murder of a ninth grader, 14 year old Devin Selvi on the school grounds in his mother's arms. Devin's mother had been advocating against bullying for a long time in vain. And this tragedy kind of opened up a can of worms an old labor town committed to equity and work, but in denial of race, gender, ability and sexuality based inequities. Um, we had all the elements for the story. We had researched and investigated stakeholders. There were many, and we were able to establish communications with them and start building relationships. There was a growing awareness about bullying strategies when place and consistent media intention as young people were challenging the system to respond more appropriately to the experiences they were having in school. But then the actions and reactions we noticed seemed to be at odds with each other. So the students were talking about everyday interactions that othered them and isolated them. And the board responded with all these anti-bullying strategies and workshops. And, but the active students found themselves silenced every time they brought up these issues. And online hate campaigns were targeting them as they advocated against performative actions. Everyone we noticed was operating in silos. 
So we knew we had to take, we had to approach the story with a lot of care. And to do so, we've partnered with the community inclusion organization to reach out to young people asking for change and highlighting experiences that they've had in the classroom, on the playground, in the office over the years. And by carefully bringing their stories to stage before a curated, involved audience, we are hoping to create an active listening environment. The question we're asking is, how do we shift the siloed narrative from filter bubbles to meaningful engagement and safer schools? Our project also includes a partnership with the School of Performances, Louis Laberge Coté, who will curate a, a dance or a mime composition to support part of the narrative. This partnership allows us to experiment with the use of an abstract performance art in sharing a particularly difficult personal story. This is the space where we will perform um, our piece. It's uh, the Aquarius Theater in Hamilton. And our approach in using the space is to adopt a minimalist approach, um, really consider where we want to locate our stage, what distance do we want from our audience, how involved do we or our story sharers want to be with the audience. And the goal here is if the show works, that we might be able to move it from the studio stage to a more traditional main stage. And uh, the theater in Hamilton is actually quite beautiful. I wanna mention that um, the group that we have working with us in this project involves um, a team of students. Uh, our storyteller in residence is Matthew Best, who's a graduate of our program and a stitch devotee from the beginning of this project. Uh, and then we have graduate resident storytellers and researchers, Christine el and uh, Magdalene Mahoney. And then Angela Glover is our audio tech expert. The lead will be performed live at the Aquarius Theater on April 1st, 2022. If you want more information on the project, on Stitched, on live journalism in general, please reach out to me. I'm Sonia Fata. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time and attention. Mm -hmm.